Hey guys, this is Comic Indo, and just like Man of Steel, we had a special round table movie discussion, and we are here to have a special round table movie discussion for Batman v Superman. So we'll introduce our guests here. We have <laughs> Mimi, who's in almost every movie review. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a special guest, Luke. <laughs> Hello. Who almost didn't see the movie because he doesn't love superhero movies, no. but you are a DC fanboy. No. <laughs> um, That's what I say, at least. Um, but let's get started and start, you know, talking about the movie. Um, you know, here we get to see uh, a lot of Batman's origin story uh, and seeing Lex Luthor kind of pit Superman and Batman spoiler! together. Oh, well, yeah, I should mention um, that this is going to be a spoiler filled review because uh, usually with my reviews, I'll do non spoiler, spoiler, but I think. A little bit better if we just do yeah, we'll just jump into the spoilers spoiler. for this one. Um, so uh, in the end, we get to see a big team up with the Trinity, with Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, um, and then going against Doomsday. And you know what happens when <laughs> Superman goes against Doomsday? I think everybody yeah. knows. He dies, and that was the big thing that happens. And in the end. Batman and Wonder Woman are like, let's create a team. I don't know why, but we're going to do it anyways. And that's pretty much the premise of the movie. Oh, without spoiling too much, but spoiling the major thing. Yeah. So we're going to get into the good, the bad, and the very ugly. Um, so let's talk good first. Let's be a little right, positive. Of course. Um, so let's, let's go to Mimi. Positive, good. Positive, Wonder Woman is gorgeous and gets to be pretty throughout oh, the movie. Oh, I wish like, she would have said what you said in the Oh, she, she literally just is gorgeous and that's all she does. Yeah, she has about four lines. She got like four which lines is nice. with a really cool accent and just, I feel bad for I her. I like the accent. Her accent, I, no, I feel cool. like she was great, but yeah. I feel bad for her to have watched the things right. she had to watch. I thought, um, I liked Wonder Woman, but I feel like they spoil a lot in the trailers yeah. with her. I feel, I love the action. I yes. thought the action was really yeah. well done. Um, but, I mean, a lot of her scenes yeah, are in the trailer. Like, we knew when they were. Like, there's only one scene we didn't, two, kind of. Yeah. The computer scene. And some of them didn't even show up. No, the, yeah. the car scene did show no, up. No, the computer, and scene. The computer the scene. Yeah. The computer scene, we didn't know when she gets the file from Bruce. That was really funny. It's like, boys do share. And then it got weirder and stupider oh, yeah. in that email. But, like, that we didn't know. And we didn't, per se, know the moment when, the full of the scene when he's like, you don't, uh, you don't know women like me. That whole moment. Like, we knew yeah. that line, but we didn't know what led to it, but that's really about it. Yeah, right. um, I feel, and I guess we could go into the mm. the scenes with Cyborg, Aquaman, and Flash. Well, this is still in line with what you felt was good, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah I, I guess it was, still... it was cool. I'm happy it was done that way. I was really worried it was going to be legitimate cameos. Instead, it was kind of funny, but it's like, ah, oh, Batman, you're super creepy, man. Why'd you get all They did over? their origin story a little, at least with yeah. Cyborg. I actually thought Cyborg had the best one because yeah. it followed his origin story really well. Cool. Flash, I really didn't like, not just because I don't love the casting for Ezra Miller, but also, <laughs> like, even the visual effects felt very Quicksilver. Um, yeah. It didn't really feel like... Barry Allen. Well, I think Flash. that cyborg story was told a little bit more like that was because maybe a lot of the people viewing this, especially younger viewers, don't know much about cyborg. Whereas Flash and Aquaman are so easy to just kind of give them one thing yeah. to focus on, like basically swimming up to the screen with a chart and then backing away very gently, <laughs> and then something like flying in the air because of him. But uh, it's just a little lackluster for of me. Course. I want to be excited for those things, but cyborg was the best yeah. because they right. did explain it. But like Luke said, me because. You know, not a lot of people know who he is. Yeah. Um, but it was cool that they focused on his origins. But yeah, going back to Wonder Woman, I thought she was good, but she she just didn't have a lot, which yeah. kind of sucks. She can't yeah. save this movie, guys. I'm sorry. No, yeah. she can't. You know what? Can't. She can't save this movie, unfortunately. No, no. she can save her own. She yes, I think I'm really like excited. I'm really excited for the Wonder Woman, uh, yeah. Wonder Woman movie. I really liked her accent. Like I said, the action was really good. I love that. Uh, what I did you know? how happy she was when she was fighting. She yeah. was like, yeah, she was yeah, smiling and like, laughing. Like, that made me happy. So, yeah. yeah she was I scared. know. I noticed that too when we didn't say like, anything about it. it. Like, she was like, yeah, I'm cutting a monster now. Yeah, like, like, yeah you <laughs> are, girl. You, don't, you go do that. You go. I was happy for her. <laughs> yes, I was very, I was happy. But like, going back to, I guess, the good. Yes. Um, so, more good? No. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I guess, let's go to Luke, because I have, I think, the most good from the movie, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, Mimi and I took kind of a more very strong approach to disliking it. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a, I still didn't love it, but, uh, 
I didn't dislike it as much as these two. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was treated just as like every fanboy's dream of really putting the two together and having them just fight it out on screen. It's what they did for a good, oh, you know, for the second half of the movie up and until they decided to be friends for a reason we're going to talk about later, but um, <laughs> which really changes the movie for most. My Especially Martha. Martha <laughs> itself is a big word, but my favorite, my my per, well, what I what I enjoyed. Jonathan surviving. <laughs> yeah, I no, 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 no. No, that was definitely a negative, but we'll get to that. Um, but he didn't actually survive. It just, no, we have. We will it. get to these things in detail. But what I did enjoy, I guess, would be the Wonder Woman scenes or or just any treatment of her in the film. That's really, 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 really about it. I liked Lois in the movie. I, I don't, don't enjoy her character her. at all, to be honest. I liked the touch of Clark and Lois kind of helping each other and saying that yeah. she wasn't a damsel in distress. That's, That's one true. thing yeah. I think they do well in DC. Yeah, but I just don't like the character. I, I'm okay. I understand that, but I, I do, I like how they treat women yeah, in the movie. Good. I like that. I like that they literally did help each other. Yes. And they saved each other in the movie. And I thought they did the iconic scene very well with yeah. the doomsday thing. So even though I don't love Amy Adams as Lois Lane, I think she had some good material. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought they could have built up more on the Clark and Lois thing. There's very few scenes of it, but yeah. what they did have I thought was pretty good. Let's see, they had cute bathtub sex. <laughs> so they probably that. will they'll probably show that more in the rated R. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, they had cute bath no. they really had bathtub <laughs> sex. <laughs> And if you're already a fan of the convention, if you're already a fan of their relationship, then you're going to get exactly what you expect with them. Yeah. However, if you're not a fan, if you don't watch these things for the reason of not being a fan, you're going to find it predictable. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll say that. Cute. And I don't find things that are predictable in this day and age to be really interesting anymore because of how cut, more cutting edge and competitive the genre gets it doesn't break this movie doesn't do the work of breaking new ground no, not at all. i agree yeah. i agree with that also again i what i was saying before i think they treat women well and i like that but i agree with i think that should be expected by now it should yeah. but hollywood of course doesn't, and that's something i will respect but um i thought of something else i kind of liked mm -hmm. I liked, <laughs> uh, it was kind of fun and kind of liked um, mm -hmm. when the guys were duking it out and right. they just kept on having O oh moments as they beat the crap out of yeah, him. Yeah, did you like, notice that, that when his head kind of was like, 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 oh, oh. and then when he got it, like, oh, oh. shit. Oh, that man. was really funny because their facial expressions were great. Yeah. Like, and also because Superman just looked so pissed, like, stop shooting her with their little toys. And yes. just, like, that was kind of yeah. funny, but like, uh, that was about it. I want to also mention that I thought Ben Affleck was good as Batman, yeah. but he didn't have good lines and good oh, material. Because yeah. I actually, I liked his facial expressions. I thought he did a really good job as, as Batman, or at least Bruce Wayne, but he didn't have enough. I just, yeah. I don't think he... Yeah, but I mean, Batman's a role that I feel that just everybody tailors themselves to. There's not much you can really innovate it and make it your own at this point. I think you can. Who I, does I don't it? think... No, I don't think it's happened yet. That's the problem. <laughs> and, so well, you should make it innovative and your own. I don't think Ben Affleck... I mean, you know... It's, I think it was the material, though. I actually thought he did very well with facial expressions yeah, and mannerisms. He did the best he could. I guess so, but he's just playing Batman, and you could just tell. I mean, it's complex. Uh, he's a, I, I mean, this is two different, this comic book fan and someone who's more, like, read, in the, well, I mean, you did read the I comics. I used to read comics, I, and I've watched prior films. Yeah, I, I personally think there's a lot of complexities to Batman, but that's a whole different story. Nobody's maybe. saying there aren't complexities to Batman. But you're Batman. saying that there's nothing to add? I think they should add no, Batman. No, I'm saying one. that, I'm yeah. saying that Ben Affleck does a very one-dimensional job. Oh, you mean, like, job. he didn't add too much to the I mean, it's an, I mean, I don't, I think that. I think it was the material, though. Yeah, but you can't not, like, it's the material, but it's also, I think, important for an actor to kind of do a better, do their own job, their own personalized job of embodying their role. And I don't think Ben Affleck does that in a way that previous actors have. So I think Christian Bale actually does a really interesting and a little bit more of a two or more dim dimensional Batman. I think Ben Affleck kind of falls victim to the certain kitschy moments that go on throughout the film and and in the in how it's framed throughout. I don't think that he does anything other than what's just status quo. 
I can see where I'm you're coming from. Agree slash parallel with that, like parallel. Parallel, I think I'm gonna try. Like for example, <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg did his. We won't version. even get it. I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. We won't. But I'm saying for he he did definitely his own take of Lex Luthor. So I yes. think like so I'm agreeing with that one. Like he definitely. That's went a, he went life. somewhere. He went somewhere. It wasn't Lex. We don't know like, where he went. went but he went somewhere. Yeah, like, he went somewhere. Right. Wonder Woman did the best that she could. So like they all did yeah. the best I think what they could. I'm agreeing with you because I am more of a Christian Bale fan, and Ben did the best. He right. I first and thought I feel, he like, the best I feel like if they had, I think he'll be even better if they give him the Bat Family or if they give him more to play right. on. Because like yeah. Alfred was really funny being a drunk, kind of. But he wasn't like, great. He wasn't, he wasn't great. That's yeah. the thing. Like he I wasn't feel, a father figure. He, he was just like he was honestly more of a Lucius Fox. Here's your gear. He was like yeah. a witty support friend. Yeah. yeah. So I think like, they I need like to build the Bat Family, which I think they definitely hinted at with whatever the Jason Todd thing yeah, might be. And also, I personally, in my mind, I wanted to speculate maybe the girl he saved during the whole Superman Zod fight could be Carrie Kelly. Uh, I think that be, could be cool because his mother, the mother dies. So maybe it'd be like, oh, she's an orphan. Like, you know, oh, maybe. Hey, she's the scene. one from The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, she's from The Dark Knight okay. Returns. So maybe they could play it into that universe, making her like a Carrie Kelly type okay. character. Potentially. Hopefully, we can yeah. hope. So like maybe if they bring him more to play with. It's something that we haven't after. seen. Yeah, that'd be Because nice. we've never seen, and I state this all the time, so we've never really seen the Bat Family on screen. They're too afraid not to do it. Not in the universe, only in yeah, the Yeah, in like, Batman the Animated Series. Very true. And that would make it something different where Bruce could actually play off someone. And that's the whole and reason so why they created Robin. Right. Because he talked to himself too much. <laughs> and that's why Robin was a creation in the comics. Yeah. So why don't you do it on screen with Bat Family? So and I hope, hope that hopefully. Hope with hopefully. the future Batman films, we'll see that. So, yeah. um, maybe we're, we got a glimpse of that. But uh, mm -hmm. no, I see where you're coming from. That There wasn't a lot of added dimensions to him. But at the same time, for me, I did like his facial expressions. And I Because he might. The only reason I even mentioned is that if we're ever going to go forward with films that constantly use these characters and plots and stories yeah. I think to even touch anything more than just the regular viewers people who yeah. read the comics and watch the movies and things like that if you're ever going to get more like Dark Knight Returns exactly Knight. if you're yeah. ever going to get more of a real you know more a new a new which is what they ground. want this is what if they're this trying is what to they target. want this yeah. is what they're trying to do I think then they need to try and really restructure things such as the actor's relationship to the character that's been around yeah. longer than the actors themselves. I yeah. think that something really needs to be done. And I don't They've know what that is. done a million times in the comics, but they need to do one. Yeah, in the, yeah. the comics, of course, like the, the characters become restructured. They become shaped by the different times and events yeah. and things that occur. And I think it needs to be done so in the media and in what we see in these films because we have children and people still watching these things yeah. and we're still getting the same character and the same structure film show comic i'm not comic but um in those two formats over and over again yeah. and that's what makes this very predictable if you're not invested now i could i could totally agree with that and again luke is talking as someone who's not as big of a batman exactly fan, um and talking more in that perspective mm -hmm. um and as more of a movie fan so uh that's kind of ben affleck uh, I guess going more towards the good side. I, I like the Trinity fight. I thought that was cool. Yeah, that was the cool. Action. Like, there was yeah. nothing wrong with enjoying the fact that it was cool because it yeah. was. Yeah, it was very cool. But there's a lot of action that I don't think was needed. Like, there's oh, yeah, this whole yeah, Batmobile yeah, 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 yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, this is, I told, I whispered to Luke. I'm like, this was in the script saying useless Batmobile yes. scene that people will scream over just because it's the yeah. Batmobile. But <laughs> yes. it wasn't actually necessary yeah, because to any was, story. Yeah, that was the only time it was in the movie. And also, yeah. I don't think they fleshed out whatever Batman was looking for. I know it was for the kryptonite, but they never fleshed it out of, like, who those other people were. Right. They, I guess they worked with Lex. I don't know. Right. Um, they should have fleshed out that portion a lot more. Um, that that movie looked very similar to the Christopher Nolan one. Yeah. No. In Christopher Nolan films, it's hard to beat because they have such packed in themes and it's oh, very neat. Yeah. And yeah, this just, wasn't as neat. And they, I know what all their pretensions. Right. And I don't mean to make this a comparison to those because I know people are automatically going to do that just because. But if you really think about it, I think the Christopher Nolan trilogy did not rely so heavily on like references and But material. this one didn't either and that's why I was Are so... you sure? No, I don't there wasn't any oh you're cutting off. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Um okay. I they didn't really make as many references. Because I feel like this one needed you to recognize key things. There to wasn't keep going. many. There wasn't many. I thought at least they're just like signifiers like you know, the kryptonite usage and like... But that's only because I think it's more of like, how else would you defeat Superman? Well, yeah, of course, but I think a lot of that comes 
I think it's certain, re, re, you know, relationships, or at least like in the, the Dark Knight trilogy, I just feel that it kind of started a little bit, maybe more so from its own. No, but they had Ra's al Ghul, they had Cal right, they they utilized the mythology better in those movies. Yeah. Here, I mean, I don't think they really utilized the mythology. No, better. that's a good point. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like they utilize like Ra's al Ghul, the Joker, Catwoman. Yeah, they use those yeah. characters which are so known and so popular and I think they really did a good job at repurposing them for something that was more than just a reference. And they tried here but in a way I think they made it pretentious. They're like yeah. we're, oh, kinda, yeah. we're better than the source material and they should have went the opposite no, direction. Totally. Where I think Christopher Nolan never thought he was better than the source material. Yeah. Like, he was just going a different direction. Yeah. This I feel like it's like oh we have to make it dark because we're better than the source material. Yeah and material. I guess maybe because Zack Snyder is so much more involved in the community anyway because you know he does write comics. Well, he right. doesn't write comics. Oh, I'm thinking of... You're thinking of some, and Scott Snyder. Yes! Yeah. I was, that's what I was thinking the <laughs> yeah. whole time. Never mind. But really, <laughs> I, he has done um, other comics. He's done Watchmen, and he did Man of Steel, the movie. He's never written, like, anything. He's never written... He's, he's only a director. I, <laughs> I feel like this movie was a really pretentious fanfic. Yeah, that's what I was. It was, and, and like really the lines were really pretentious, and that's why it's like it was really dramatic just to be dramatic. Yes, there was no reason for like it's like a screenplay I wrote, where you're just dramatic for dramatic sake. There, if you're going to have drama, there needs to be a legitimate reason, and just there wasn't the fact that the fact they were fighting, none of it really built up right. It yeah, didn't feel it feel accurate. I get what they wanted to do. I totally. But they never built it up. Like yeah, they said, like, like you understood why they were fighting, but at the same time, it's like this is not a real reason of why they should yeah, be killing each was, other just, and why they should didn't like right. each other. It was like yeah. they sat around and said, okay, we know everyone's going to see this movie. Fuck it. Let's yes. just do it. And and they, they, so they just true. took the barest plot. They tried yeah. to build up Literally. what they could. What you saw in the trailer is what you saw in the movie. Yes. Except for really three hours. Funny. Yeah. yeah. It was a three hour longer trailer and it was Because yeah. there was no surprises until the end. I kept saying that. I'm like, I seen this in the trailer. And then they promised us there would be surprises. And they really, there was, and I was waiting for an ending credit scene. Because I thought there would be a surprise there. But there was really no surprises yeah. besides that one big scene. And even then. Which you could have predicted was, because yeah. you know who the villain is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really can't think of any other. Like, you spoiled the Jason Todd thing, which I don't get what the dream thing was about yeah, with well, Batman. Why he was using guns, and then you saw, like, a Jason Todd-type character, whoever he was. Yeah. Another complaint about villains is the guy that they built up throughout the whole uh, thing where he lost his legs, he lost his family. Right. And then he's like, oh, well, he was, like, a terrorist-type character. This is the person you should be scared yeah. of. And he died halfway through the movie. Yeah, I'm like, absolutely. what was the point of that plot line? You should have cut that totally out of the movie. Yeah. yeah. There was no need for that. That was just badly executed oh. and weirdly <laughs> Now Luke is just like, I want to give this lower. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, yeah, I totally agree. I think oh. there is, you know, I, when things feel useless in a film and they, they're not even at least enjoyable. Like he, he wasn't, again, that goes back to references. At least if you was someone in the comics, right. it would have been fun to exactly. see. Exactly. But this was somebody, and I guess what that brings us to was that, that woman, the senator woman, was she anything in the comics at all? I personally don't think so. Like, like who I never knew she? she is, but like if you guys are, you know, know who she is. Like, I mean, I guess it, the one funny scene was the scene where she had like <laughs> the, the pee the jar. Pee. I'm like, all right, that was honestly one one of the best scenes. And then you had the shocking moment. I thought that was good, but then at the same time, what? Why right. is that what? there? <laughs> it's like what? cool, it's a good scene. There's a lot of scenes here where you're like, why did it have to be in the movie? I felt like this was a first draft, the first yeah, cut. Yeah, and, and they like, never yeah. cut it. <laughs> That's a really it good is. It's a rough cut. They said, this is great. It's like me every rough cut. I'm like, this yeah. is great. And then I watch it like it's so two hours that, later um, and I'm like... Like not enough uh, people watched it. Like people are just like, they didn't... It wasn't clean. They did right. a very up. rough cut type film. Yeah, I, I'm worried really, for the director's cut. You know, and that makes you know maybe yeah. that makes sense as to why the length was so long, well over two hours. You know, you would think that maybe they would find something really that they did not need that would make the film more pungent if they took it out and actually had a, a more condensed time because then they would find that's why it was boring i mean yeah. i don't say boring i i mean there's times that oh, there were times they were probably maybe a little bit not that interesting there was there was a time i i mean i had to go to the bathroom and i didn't miss much and mostly yeah mostly we try not use the bathroom yeah it's just like i had to so um but yeah, I don't try to leave the film, but just it was a coincidence. I I left for two seconds and yes. I didn't miss anything. I didn't. 
But um, going, I want to no. also talk about the Jonathan Kent scene because I just have a little joke. It's like, where did that scene even come from? It's just like, it, it seems like he, that's where the tornado left him and everyone forgot yes. about Jonathan Kent. It's like, you know, son, I was still here and no one, no one tried to save me. <laughs> but now I'm just throwing rocks. I'm throwing yes. bricks what into a that? pile. Having like this <laughs> reflective time and you're going to learn something from your long dead uncle? <laughs> For what? Is he his father? Yes, yeah, Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan Kent's like, his father. I get Uncle Ben and Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, they kind of look the same. They serve a similar purpose. Wait, was Superman supposed to be going off to his magical... I don't like, know where... Like, no, no, that was in the Jimmy. Fortress of Solitude. I like, thought that's what they were doing. Yeah, I thought it was like, he's gonna go to the Fortress. It wasn't. You know, it's weird because why was he wearing regular clothes and a hat? Like, first of all, I'm pretty sure he doesn't get really cold. Yeah, like, you're adorable, but like, what are you doing? I know, like, did you really need to... I don't know where that scene came from. I assume it wasn't the Fortress of Solitude. Going back to rough cuts, that scene could have been cut out. Yeah, it could have... So there's a lot of scenes that could have been cut out where the pacing was really bad. Um, so I guess going into, I want to go into, is there another character before we go into Lex Luthor? Because I think he was a big right, we, problem. We should talk about him. But oh no, actually Death of Superman we haven't really touched upon. We, you well, know. did you like, I liked the death personally and I liked, well, I didn't well, like. I mean, ask the viewers, I mean, if, you know, they think that it's something that non-comic readers would find interesting or get because that's a huge reference. No, that's no, not... it is. But I feel like mainstream audiences, I think, knows the death. I guess older maybe. mainstream older audiences. Older mainstream audiences, I would say yes, but maybe newer ones. Yeah, little kids are not gonna. They're not gonna that. know it. Yeah. And I in the comic is the, there's something with like his cape, right? Or like yeah, the flag. they kind of yeah they do have the flag. They kind of do it, I guess, but not really. I kind of wish it was the same because they did that for the right. Dark Knight Returns. They actually had the yes. same exact like electricity bolt. And you see the scene where he's on the shot. Shit, side. I want to so watch that, that movie. So again. that's a good, that's a good um, animated <laughs> movie. Oh, which Batman vs Superman? Or? Oh, I know Dark Knight. Returns. Yeah, Dark Knight Returns is at. Oh, you're no Dark what Knight. Thinking you're thinking You're talking about Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Like, where Dark Knight Returns. Oh, is right, what's that, based the animated. On, right, right, right. Yeah, that's what's based on what that thing was. Um, but uh, what was I talking about? The actual. I thought it was a cute death. Oh, oh yeah, the death. It wasn't a cute death. No, it was cute. What was cute about it? <laughs> what was cute about it was how they all just yeah. like. I like Lois. They stood about like yeah. Lois was really cute. Wonder Woman just like. Well, she was kind of just there. like. Uh, uh, like I just like, like, you I'm in here. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like Wonder Woman was in that awkward position yeah, saying like, so you so died. Bad. I feel bad for leaving. Well, like, I don't really know you. Like my favorite part was like it was like oh of course she's gonna carry the body. There's no way Lois is gonna carry this one. She was like, okay, I'll hold him. Oh, yeah. crap. I Although I love the chemistry between Wonder Woman me and Batman. Me too. Yeah. That's a couple I've always was Oh, me too. Ever since, like, the anime Justice yeah. League, I always wanted to see I'm game for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. that yeah. makes so that makes sense. Yeah. The mortal, the, you know, yeah, uh, the like, person who actually is a god. Yeah. I really like that. I'm game for that, whatever yeah. the hell that is. Me I like those too. references. They're entertaining, <laughs> they're entertaining chemistry. Because they would just pop up randomly. I know. And I'm like, you're like... They were very fun. Yeah. That's something. See, I would like to see a Wonder Woman Batman. Batman movie. Yeah. <laughs> so if, it's a, if there's gonna be a Wonder Woman movie, I hope to God this isn't gonna be some, you know, like, oh, like, after all the actions are like, they fall in love. No, the Wonder Woman movie's going back in Go ahead, Chris Pine, Pine, which is good. So Origins it. never been in theaters, so not a lot of people know Wonder Woman's origin. So right. like that I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm and really like, excited, I'm excited for that. to see what, how she turns away from yet. Like, even though I kind of know, like, I'm still excited right, to see yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I know just enough to be like, I will totally be happy with whatever yeah. they do, because right. it's finally being shown but we didn't get that yet and we got to set we had which I think the Wonder really Woman movie, movie should have came first it and honestly have. the Batman movie should have came first too I know we know a lot about Batman but not Ben Affleck's Batman yeah. and if they did right. Bat family stuff I it would have made more sense like oh I feel for these characters yeah. I think it goes back to Superman 2 is that Man of Steel obviously some people loved it some people hated it there's really is no in between yeah. with that, yeah. but I think we need to build up for Superman's death too. I I mean yeah. like Superman's character. I don't know if we know the Superman as much right. to feel for his. Oh death. my god, good point. Yeah. yeah, and you know one other thing that so many people are obsessed with, I think, is the story of Superman dying in general because he's a god. Which yeah. I think they overplayed. Oh, they overplayed yeah. it. Like so I think they awkward. didn't let. Yes, I don't <laughs> think they let like the actual audience really feel or experience it for themselves. I think they had to keep throwing it yeah, at Yeah, it's like, he's you. a god! Yeah. Did you know that, right? He's American! I think they yeah. coddled the audience in that way. Way too much. And again, it goes back to the pretentiousness and the script writing, which I just... 
could have it could have been a lot better. The direction of that it felt like a first draft script. <laughs> it felt like a first yeah. draft um, yeah. director's uh, a rough cut. Um, and that was the biggest problem. Now let's go into Batman and Superman's relationship because we haven't touched that. Oh, but then Lex funny. Luthor. Um, I don't. I think a lot of it came out of nowhere. I think yeah. again they announced it in the trailer, and then he's like, the more of the scene I liked, but they could have executed a lot oh better. Oh my god, that was so weird. I like, right. I get what they wanted to do, but I was like, I am not invested. I just Batman looked like such a raging asshole. Yes. He was. He Batman was a, little, he was was a baby. bat bully. <laughs> for he's what? like, you're better than me. You're different. I need to kill you. Yeah, him. like this wasn't a good for role for kids to see for Batman. Oh not no, like, of this course. Was not for 60% of the movie, he was a spiteful little power but hungry, he was jealous. Just, yeah, go on. Go he was a li he was a little man child for a lot of the film. Which I guess you could say is kind of Batman's character, but yeah, again, <laughs> they did it over the top. Oh, right, like that, you didn't care for him as much as a character. It. Right. Uh, go on. <laughs> no, totally. And um, one thing that I that what made me totally repelled instead of compelled towards the relationship between Batman and Superman was that he was literally about to kill him. He's worked his whole time hating him and trying to get rid of him to see that there won't be a future with Superman because he was afraid of all the powers he could unleash if he controlled the world or whatever. And he finally gets the moment. And the one thing that stops him is that our moms have the same name. <laughs> well, I yeah, think it's like, the connection. What I like about the what? scene, but there's no connection between no, him and human, Superman. That he's human. That he's human. That he has a mother. I that's what that's the connection it, was, but they didn't do it as well. They, as they didn't could execute have. it the way they. That's why I liked the scene, but I knew what they were going. But it for. took yeah. that much for him to realize, like, oh, like. Yeah, because he didn't know he lived he, here. He, he thought he was just an alien. That he, yeah. he didn't know he was Clark Kent. He thought he was just an alien that came. But did Lois Lane not matter? Him? She had some woman and like just ducking her, really like trying to sacrifice herself for him. Yeah. Well, that but, was like the point where he changed his mind. I guess. And that's why it's like, oh shit, like he is a real he's person. Because he's shouting, Martha's, Martha's. Right. Right. Like, but he's all like, but mom's for the <laughs> actual, for what actually happened, I don't think it really, like, constituted for the incredible change yes. that oh, happened. Yeah. And it happened too late yes. in the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, too yeah. late. It was way at the end. This movie, I think, would have been better if it was Batman yeah, and it, Superman. Yeah. And they were friends, and maybe they had that encounter for 10 minutes and saying, oh, okay, now I know who you yeah, are. Yeah, for, like, the first, maybe, like, 30 or 40% of the movie, like, that animosity, that anger, that anxiety between them, but then actually we see an equivalent relationship after that was the same amount of time as that, as opposed yeah. to way less, but that was supposed to mean way more than when they weren't Yeah, Yeah, partners. because honestly, there was maybe two lines when Bruce actually said something good about uh, Superman, yeah. and I'm like, well, that actually was really good, and I kind of wish that was the rest of the movie, but yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> It's making me worried for whenever the hell we get Justice League. Mm -hmm. now, honestly, like, the whole I, ending made me yeah. worried about Justice League because it was so ominous that he's like, I know something's coming. Like, I don't know sure what it is, but something's coming. Something. It, it was we need the Justice League movie, so like, let's just say something's coming. <laughs> and we saw that little dirt move. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, which you know, okay. Superman's probably alive. But like, we all knew that. Yeah. So it's, it's just like, yeah, you're not killing him. Yeah, like, he's gonna come back they, here. Everybody's in Justice League. got a contract. Like it's yeah. just one, it's one of those things where. I get why Marvel's kicking their ass at the box office of because they built I, their movies up to the Avengers. They're trying yet, to like, speed it up. And, and, they, they, and I get they, why yeah. they do that, but they did it in such a shitty way that when it yeah. finally happened, it just like, that was lackluster and I'm really sad. They're mom rushing. They're tickets. like, I want all these things. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just sad that your mom bought me a ticket. I'm like, I need to get her money back. Like, yeah. it was just, I get exactly why DC's doing it. They want to beat Marvel, but they're not doing a good job yeah. at it. Because they're the TV doing, shows are doing better. The TV, the TV shows, shows know what they're doing. They're yeah. like, we know what the comic source material is, and we're yeah, using and it. Only like, it. I think about Supergirl, and I'm like, I would care if Supergirl died. Yeah. Because I followed her story, and I know her character. With ba Superman, does an audience really connect with him enough to say, oh, not man. Not in this version. Not I in mean, it's only, verse. yeah, it's like, not in this, this version. Not in this version, Obviously, no. we love Superman, yeah. and he's a, obviously an American icon, and that's why you would care why he died, but not... In Henry this, Cavill's version of which Superman. Which is a shame. Like, I really like Henry Cavill. But yeah, I sat there, and I think okay, there's a possibility like, of doing watching Superman. I watched him, and I'm like, I liked your character so much more when you were a man from Uncle. Like, you were a sassy motherfucker. Mm -hmm. that. I'm like, I'm just saying, like, it was like when he almost died, I'm like, oh no, not Henry Cavill. Yeah. This one, I'm like, 
awkward. He's a good actor. Yeah, he like, just awkward. doesn't have good material, and I keep saying that about a lot of these characters. Yeah, but one of them, I won't say that about. But um, and um, I think this goes in line with saying that like films that focus on you know these story arcs and these characters still aren't doing the work of changing that for its viewership. Yeah. I think that in this time and day and age we were in, and with the technology that we have. And with the actors and things, like, it's, you know, we need to make these films credible. Mm -hmm. And they're not at that level yet, unless they're gimmicks. Unless and again, they're the ways. TV shows are doing better, and that's shitty. Not shitty, but, but it's, not, it's, it's not, not good. They don't have a big budget. It's awkward, doing when yeah. hour, it's awkward when you're hour-long TV show that's not even a full hour long, so it's not HBO, is doing better than right. It's just say a pilot. Let's pilot, just say a pilot. Okay. We're not even talking about the whole show. Because it, it's different that you do connect to a character more on a show because you spend every week with right. them. Yeah, but but it's, a pilot can make you connect more with... And again, I, I do go back to Ezra Miller because I saw him in two seconds, but if I saw Grant Gustin do the same thing, I would have been like, oh my God, that's Barry Allen. Yeah. Because, and, and you would have to have the effect of the speed force. But still, because, you would have been like... Even right. if they didn't do the effect, you still would have known, oh shit, that's Barry. Yeah, like, like he didn't even like... He didn't have a smile on his face. Yeah, and that's Barry. Allen, like he's a happy hero, and I don't think this universe knows how to be happy, and that's yeah, the downfall. That's a good point. It's, and that's why the movie kind of fails because what's so interesting about Batman and Superman's relationship is that Superman's such a light guy yeah. and has so much faith in the world, and he didn't have that here. He always questioned the world, and with Batman, that's his job. He's like, right. oh, well, I. I do think people are bad because look what happened to my parents and you never saw that moment where Superman has faith in the yeah. world and that Batman doesn't. They all had the same pretty much ideology which was very strange and a big suffering of the film. Yeah. Now uh, any other opinions on the their relationship? I think I feel like we hit it on the nail it that could it had so possibilities. They, yeah and if they did what you were saying before like if they split it more it right. worked they so much really better but instead it, it was like oh crap last 20 minutes like shit but, like, Friends, friends, friends. Like, it's me in the last like 18 pages of my film. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta do this. You have and to like, wrap again, it like, up. it's a first draft. Yeah, I'm like, I'm in a second draft, but I'm still like, oh crap, I know what I have to do. I'm like, I'm a 23 year old college student, mm -hmm. and I know this. These are, prof professionals These are professionals who have been making more money than I will and have written out a long part of my right. career. And have they, such they, iconic they, heroes. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're working with great source material, great characters that anyone would know. Someone anywhere in the world would know who yeah. the hell super like they have some of the most iconic characters at their disposal to play with. And they're doing such a lackluster job, like you yeah. were saying. Yeah. Like, ah, it's, 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 it's worrisome. Disappoint. It's, it's very it disappointing. Is. It is. And uh, maybe Batman will be better in his own film if they yeah. kind of take what he like, said. But right. um, let's go into the final uh, thing here, which is Lex Luthor. Now, here's the thing I was really not looking forward to. But I will say, when I went into the film, I had an open mind. Like, I <laughs> wanted to... I don't know. I, I, I wanted to like him. But throughout the movie... I mean, the things he said about power made sense, but he was never Lex Luthor. He, no, and, he and he never changed throughout the film. And a lot of his lines didn't mean anything. He was just, Ew, j just saying <laughs> shit out of his mouth. He was just saying stuff that meant nothing. And that's never Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor, with the first word, will say, will make you try to understand his, his speech, you know? He's like, oh, that's really interesting. What are you saying? I don't agree with your ideologies, but you're always focus on what he's trying to say. He's yeah. kind of, that's why you you know, ran for president, you right. know? Like, you're always like, oh, all right, this is interesting. He's always been a good speaker. And then when you see him being a horrible speaker in this uh, movie, and just having all this random wisdom, it felt like the Riddler. I won't even say the Joker. I would say the yeah, Riddler. Yeah, he said, yeah. Um, and I think it, it, what, it goes to the other side of the coin, for me at least, mentioning earlier, is that finding that balance between you owning your personalized skills as an actor and playing this role which has been played numerous times in By numerous great versions. actors right but the problem with jesse eisenberg is he goes to the extreme where it's only his personality and that's and, not acting it's and not that's not acting because he disregarded any or at least any i felt any room to really try and maybe innovate the character Lex Luthor. He doesn't do that. He does that in a way where he shows you, I'm wacky fast talking Jesse Eisenberg. I'm going to make him, you know. Well. It, it's every role we've ever seen him in. Yes. Yeah. And that's what annoys me. And that's why I was worried about him because <laughs> he does play every single role the same because that's kind of his personality. And it makes you question, you know, why then did they choose him to because be... Because he thought, hey, he's a pretentious actor and like he's He's pretentious. He reminds me of me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he reminds me 
you mean? Let me get movie. him in this movie. No, <laughs> but I think that's the reason they thought like, oh, he does have that attitude. Yeah, here's that. Right. Maybe he's cock. He's cocky. I will say that he's confident, but for lackluster reasons. Yeah, okay. horrible outfits. Just saying. He's, Not saying oh, they, but okay, no, will, but he does that. because Lex <laughs> Luthor is always <laughs> no, but Lex Luthor is always very. You know he's a businessman. Yeah, he has great suits. Yes, right. that's and that's yeah. important. I'm sorry that I mean his outfits are important. His outfits are important. He's a rich, sophisticated villain. Yes. I like. I just finally got to finish watching the two seasons of Young Justice, and that mm -hmm. Lex Luthor served a purpose. He was you knew exactly who he was. I'm like, oh crap, Lex Luthor's involved. Shit's gonna get real. This version of Lex Luthor in a movie with Jesse Eisenberg, I was like, shit's not gonna get real. Lex, he's gonna be a spoiled little shit, and that's exactly what we got. He was a spoiled oh, little yeah. shit, over dramatic, with money and over dramatic, shaking shit. his mouth, his, his like, facial features. None of what he was doing <laughs> he was made really any dramatic. sense. He just like kept moving his hands, too twitchy. So, it's like he was yeah, he's just out. like an Adderall college yeah, student. Yeah, yeah. We Oh, it's like, oh, my dad did that. Like, okay, you stop talking about your dad. I don't give a fuck about he your dad. He was like, you know what? It stands out to me. It's almost as if he represented those who made the movie because he yeah. was like a fanboy at he one was, point when he makes the oh, point. Yeah, he's all like, hey, hey, Clark and right. Bruce, like, you know, we we should do that. It was almost like a nod to the audience, like, hey, like, I mean, that's what you want. You kind of get, and also, I think, honestly, the movie is a little bit un, it's not titled right. No, because they don't right. really fight that often. Exactly. Half the movie's them separated. They don't even interact right. that, they, that much in the movie. Right, right, right. What they do is really funny, but not in a way that's supposed to be funny. It's exactly. Oh, and I keep, let's keep saying this. It's over dramatic. The staring oh, so contest so in this movie. The staring contest, <laughs> so it's like Supernatural's facial scenes, like when they zoom in on but the But they're face. not doing it on purpose. They're not like, doing it on purpose. That's the, that horrible that's the worst part. And Supernatural is doing it, it is on doing purpose. doing it on purpose, so it owns it, and you're like, God, that's so campy. You know, like, CW. <laughs> this is a movie. I paid money. I semi paid money for this movie. <laughs> you I walked in and had a ticket. Yeah, but still, <laughs> like, I went in for this movie hoping to get something back. I am now reading comics, thankfully, because of you. And I had an expectation. I knew Jesse Eisenberg was going to kill her no matter what he did. It doesn't. He just didn't look the right. He didn't act the part. Even when he got the bald he head, he, head, he still didn't look right. And that made it more wacky, like more crazy. Yeah, like, like Lex Luthor's hair is bald intentionally. And yeah. yeah, he actually in like that's source look, material. Right? Like, well, in source material, he's bald because of the meteors that um, oh, sent Clark to Smallville. That's how he gets bald. And that's cool. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's the cool. connection to Superman. There was never a moment where I said, "Yes, this is Superman's." Arch nemesis yeah it's like no this is the wacky guy who kind of just wants to defeat superman a little bit he and right. when did he even find out he was clark you know, oh all these reveals yeah. up here and when did clark find out he, uh, he was bruce wayne when <laughs> when when did this all happen maybe when he was listening in on him at the party or like whatever like, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe like a big stretch of a maybe yeah, yeah like a lot of everything times. was like a big stretch in the all, and then oh yeah clark and superman they died at the same time like I, I i do like, like the secret identity of clark i think uh, supergirl does a great job yeah. of showing that yeah the glasses actually do do something yeah and like you wouldn't notice who they are but this movie is like all right so it's, obvious here to say person and no one's noticing it that's they they can make it and the daily people. planet doesn't have a budget <laughs> for a helicopter <laughs> or to go economy because all they can go is coach so. we cannot afford to send they you they rebuild their um their right. place You're right that costs it so. insurance i like perry white though i thought he was well done yeah. i liked him um, um, wish Jimmy was in it, but he wasn't. I thought the, the movie said they changed it to a woman. No, they did, but then was it her wasn't name confirmed. still Jimmy? It like, wasn't. It, it, people thought it was her, but uh, it wasn't confirmed that it was like the abandoned yeah. ship. Abandoned ship, and a lot of scenes were cut out in this movie, like the the horrible line of um. The corrupt, the absolute corruption, or the absolute power <laughs> is uh, absolute corrupts corrupt, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, because I guess there was so much backlash, they didn't even have it in the yeah, movie. Uh, um, the, the interview they didn't have in the movie. Which, sucks, which like again, that. they cut out a lot, which is good, because it was a long movie, yeah, but they should have cut out a lot more. Yeah. But why did you cut out so many things that were in your trailer? Yeah. It's like so many scenes from your trailer. Um, it was a little ridiculous. But, uh, so I guess we're starting to wrap up now. Um, we'll go down the line, just giving our verdict. Um, let's go to Mimi first. What was your verdict on the movie rating um, out of five stars? We're doing. I'm giving it like a one point five. It just it that like, point five is so like, generous. No way. The point five is generous. Like something pushed like okay, okay, like, like not I feel, just a one. Because like it had a it had potential, but it blew up in its face because it was a rough cut. I'm, I'm rough cutting my own film. I'm in a rough cut stage. I know what a rough cut looks they like, They released guys. it too early. They released the a rough cut too early. They didn't take enough people 
that weren't obviously saying, wow, this movie's great because you're paying me to yes. say it's great. They weren't taking enough rent, like... Do you know how many times we shot Kingsman for free? How many times they did, like, film, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, Kingsman's you, a great movie, like, they, <laughs> Yeah, it is. But I'm like, yeah. do you know how many times I've seen movies for free that then I see some of their changes? Mm -hmm. Never a lot, but still enough that, like, it made the movie come out just a little bit better that made me go, right. cool, that was worth the money? No. Yeah. Don't no. Just go see it. I feel like it was like, very much a cash grab and wasn't actually yeah, like. It was, yeah. It never loved. I never felt like it's like this is a movie because I love m filmmaking. This is a movie because I love Money. DC comics. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I'm gonna say this is a movie that I love DC comics and these heroes. It just felt like yeah, this is a movie because I love money. We yeah, love the versus money. title. And we know Marvel is doing a lot of work, so we need to try and yeah. put out work. <laughs> you know what? I think just hit me. Alex reminds me of the villain from Iron Man Three. Guy. guy right. Oh, yeah. 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 He was oh, Ben Kingsley. Um, ben, ben yeah, Kingsley. Ben Kingsley. I know not, what you're talking about. Not, um, the other Mandarin. Man, not Mandarin. The other. Oh, the, I know the one who was the Charles guy. The one who was like all creepy pepper. Oh. The, creepy, oh God, the one who like that? totally left on the roof of the building, and then he, oh my like God. the guy who owns the one with the cool either. brain sequence. Well, you guys probably whatever know that problems. guy. You <laughs> might be a bat. We're like I know, not really you serving a purpose. Yeah. You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to do something, but you just get to look pretty. But Jesse doesn't look pretty. He has atrocious outfits. <laughs> he does. Absolutely atrocious. And none of him and looks good. He, I, yeah. He's that's why I'm giving him the crap, guys. That's um, exactly why. So Luke. Um, I'm going to be a bit more generous than Mimi, and I'm going to give it a two out of five. Because you're gonna, if you have low expectations, you're gonna get those low expectations. You're gonna have a good laugh, though, if you see it with friends, I'm not gonna lie. We had a peanut gallery in our theater. There wasn't a lot of claps besides for Wonder Woman, and yeah, they most of like, us were talking during the movie. Not, like, rudely, but you could hear whispers that there was a peanut gallery going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which was good, because you needed the commentary. Right. But, um, what were you gonna say, Luke? Uh, other than, you know, I really enjoyed the things, like, I enjoyed some of the action scenes, they were fun, like, I don't put that as lowbrow enjoyment, it was it was fun to watch, and, you know, I, I don't choose to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would choose to see it again either, like, I'll see the next DC movie, I do think Suicide Squad's gonna be better. I'm so into yeah, that. I think that's gonna be a lot better. better. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I only hope that Wonder Woman will be better, um... But this was way too ambitious, and I don't know. I yeah. don't think it's going to fail in the box office, but I understand why critics aren't loving it. DC needs to really come out with, like, a surprise. Like, they something do. that's, oh, like, God, yeah. I'm hoping that Suicide Squad's hype becomes underwhelming so that when we see the film, that it actually stands on its own, outdoes what was said about it, and goes on for glory. I because hope. I hope that Warner Brothers needs this, they honestly. Need the money. They, they need the money <laughs> and <laughs> actually <laughs> good criticism. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, for me, I give it a little higher because I did like the action scenes. I like the Trinity. Um, I, I enjoyed the death of Superman, I guess. I enjoyed that aspect. Uh, and I liked <laughs> Lois in the film. I thought she was really well done. Um, but there's a lot of problems here. So I give it three stars. And for me, three stars means it's it's between watching it. I hated shows. the movie. I'm but... smiling because it was one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm smiling. One point five. One point five. five. I'm saying one point five, two point two, two. Yeah. three point five. Like yeah. look at us, guys. There look you go. go. There really? you go. I don't think we're. None of us are overwhelmed with it, but I do think <laughs> right. it's worth having your own opinion on. Right. I don't think it's like, you can't see this movie like Fantastic Four was. <laughs> like, I do think this is a movie that's worth wow. having a commentary with, with other people. Yeah. Um, and talking about it. So, any other thoughts? See it for your matinee time. See it yes. cheap. Don't see it cheap. See you don't cheap. need see to see it IMAX. Cheap. Don't, don't. <laughs> don't IMAX it. Yeah. See it cheap. No. Or 3D. Or 3D. I don't care. <laughs> they don't give them their money. If not, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, roundtable discussion. Also, guys, we are going to have a media madness for this. We're setting up for Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Comic Frontline, so check that out. Um, and I'm sure, uh, you know, this won't be the last that we all talk about Batman vs. Superman. Or at least me. I know I'll be talking about it somewhere. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this comic you know go check out Mimi on her channel um I'll put in the yeah, description below easier. but do you want to say your name oh uh, yeah Morganstein17 I'm not gonna bother spelling it it's too annoying <laughs> how about you Luke? I don't to share? no no Luke is a trooper that's all I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. say but thank you guys for watching this comic you know don't forget to follow me on Twitter don't forget to like my Facebook page also the description below there are I can see Luke um, I'm just smiling there are links <laughs> In the comment in the description below for like father like daughter, which you can also like the Facebook page um, in the description below. So hopefully you guys enjoyed <laughs> the money cash cow, which was Batman vs Superman. See you guys. <laughs>